What's up, guys? Hopped up into everyone's favorite sailboat, the Cruzan. We're gonna take this bad boy out for a little run, see if we can't get into some fish. We got the badass cruising crew right here. What's up, guys? We got our boy Brandon right here, the Bite Belize co-host. And then, and then we got Dylan up there, our seaman. He's helping make sure the ocean is full enough for us. They said the, the, uh, the level looked a little low, so you know, fill it up a little more before we go out. Gonna uh, stick some of these ballyhoos on, run a couple back behind the boat, and just go for a little, uh, little fun cruise around the island. It was raining and nasty the last couple days, and the weather just got beautiful on us, so it's supposed to stay nice for the rest of the day. Let's do it. Yee hoo! Yee -hoo. <laughs> still good enough to fish. I was worried that they had thawed out a little too much. They weren't completely frozen in the freezer. <laughs> the birds say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mine, mine. mine, mine. <laughs> They're cheating. <laughs> we got lines in the water, big ballyhoo with a little skirt on both of them, a couple big treble hooks in the tails. Brandon's walk, rocking one right here on the spin cast. 80 pound power pro braid. Something picks it up. You should be able to stick it. This one right here has got a ballyhoo on it. It's got 200 pound, uh, I don't know, ocean camo something braid with a 100 pound bumper leader on it that's going all the way to the reel. So we've got about two, 300 feet of a 100 pound line behind it. And we're just cruising along, cruising past the channel right now. That's the channel right over there. You can see it from that flat water. Little patch of reef right over there. Anywhere where you see a little white cap, a little bit of white cap wave right there on that line. That'll be a patch of reef and it could be as shallow as anywhere from, you know, five, six, seven, um, all the way up to like one, two, three feet right right along where those waves are actually breaking and then on either side it gets a lot deeper where we are right now it's probably 20 feet deep um in between 15 and 30 you know everything is kind of swinging but we are on flat so it's nice long rolling uh uh depth changes and then on the other side of the reef really quickly there's a couple of drop-offs the first one goes down maybe 30 40 feet something like that and it goes out for a ways then when you get out to the ledge depending uh, where on the ledge you're at it could drop off to just 100 or it could drop off to like 800 so um you know all the way along this reef you can find some really deep water getting into a little bit of rocky uh 
rocky waves right here because we're going through that that little channel area and anywhere that you find a break in the reef where there's going to not be as much of that white water those waves are going to have more momentum here that white water is those waves breaking across shallow water and where they slip through is where you're going to have big swells like this one right here rolling in that'll give the boat a nice fun little rock so I think we need to uh, untuck. I think we to need, need to untuck the tail right here. Oh. Right. All right. And we're up and sailing. See that right over there in the distance? There's a little rainbow sitting on the on the um, horizon. It's a beautiful, just little piece of an arch coming out of the clouds down into the ocean. But if you're a, a watcher of the channel, then you're aware rainbows often are good good luck for us. You see a nice, big, beautiful rainbow, and it's going to be a good day with some fish getting caught. So Brandon's making up some top ceviche right now. That just looks fabulous so what's going on with the ceviche brandon uh, man i'm just prepping right now cutting me up the cut then i'm about to squeeze some lime in here to get it a little juicy <laughs> then i'm gonna cut up my my uh what you got cilantro we got, we got cilantro, cilantro tomatoes uh, green onion no 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 don't don't, 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 don't toss no cock bro no, no, no. Oh. Any guts? Save uh, that. That's all bait, bro. <laughs> okay, my bad. My bad. Yeah. Why Lloyd is probably turning this. Why am I not shut up pumps like that? Number one. <laughs> Bye. turquoise green and then every now and then you can see what looks like a little black circle like see right down in there how there's a couple little little black circles those are either grass balls and grass patches or rocks rocks and coral heads and it doesn't take a whole lot of coral or rocks see all of this right here this little patch right here this is going to be coral heads and and some rocks and then some seagrass and some um, and some stuff growing off of it and that's gonna hold fish. So just coming out onto the flats and finding a place where all of a sudden you run into a little little mini reef. Look at all this, those are those are coral patches. This is all just flat sand. Good. With seagrass and little bits of coral and rock scattered throughout it. Jumped off your line. <laughs> 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 you think Mr. Sandy is trying to give you a break? 
Oh, it's a yellowtail. Oh, yo, yo, that's a, that's a eater, bro. Look at that beautiful little fish right Look there. Look at the size of this beast. <laughs> <laughs> The last year of my boy. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, no, that's how you do it. I didn't say it. Okay, so, okay. Ah, sure. <laughs> that's how we do it. Right, I kind of Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at me. This conch ceviche is pretty mm -hmm. fire. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Put it right here. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. I want that barracuda line to just start singing. This spot has proven to be basically just a grunt factory. We were hoping we'd pull up on a spot that had a big school of fish, and we did. But the school of fish that seems to own this corner of the ocean are all little tiny grunts and uh we're gonna get out of here try to find a bigger fish somewhere maybe park up somewhere else for a little bit maybe do a little bit more trolling but we're gonna try to find a fish better. so got it We got Brandon right here. We got Katiana right here. We got Robin and Dylan back there running the engine. And we're just cruising. We got the sun beginning to set behind us. My hat's a little bit too cocked, I just realized. Bring it back in like a regular human being. That makes me look like a B-boy from the 80s. It's kind of dope though, right? But, you know. Not a b-boy in the 80s. Beautiful sunset starting up behind us. I think it's going to be a real nice one. It's been a slow day as far as trolling goes. Lines are in the water right now, though. Got a skirted up ballyhoo on this big boy. Just hanging out. This is our makeshift rod holder. You know, when the fish hits, it's going to pull that way. Strapped in, bungeed. That one over there has got a big ballyhoo on it too. What's up, guys? Well, this basically we're going to um, we're going to go to the North Channel right now. We're going to go to Jamaica, and um, it's going to take us like six, seven hours. And when we come back, probably we'll pick up a, a square fish, a white one, we call it. A <laughs> lobster. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> I thought we were just going on a three hour tour, but it turns out we're heading to Jamaica, guys. So stay tuned. Asher's Belizean adventures are about to turn into Asher's Jamaican adventures. Yeah, we're out here. And on the way, we're looking for a square grouper. A nice, a nice fatty square fish for the back of the boat. If we find it, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we find it, you guys will know, cause, cause the next episode. We're gonna upgrade, upgrade equipment. Yeah, the, the ne on the next episode, we'll be cruising with the cruising and a couple catamarans, <laughs> yeah. and we find, uh, <laughs> we find some big fish out here. So, some big square fish out here. Remember, it's white. <laughs> uh, Albino grouper. Albino grouper. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's up there looking for the next key fishing spot. What's going on, Brandon? 
Not much. Just trying to see some coral patches that look good to fish on. He's like, he's like, there's a rock patch, there's a piece of coral, there's some grass, there's a drop off with my name on it. He's having fish dreams. Cariana! <laughs> yes, Cariana! <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, don't cut that part. Don't cut that part. <laughs> That's my favorite part. job at cutting it so it would have been perfect it's go ahead where did, where did you guys get this coconut from <laughs> <laughs> straight from the tree straight <laughs> straight from the tree and also it's is, serious it's completely go ahead, go ahead go ahead and throw it what you doing just just also, talk just talk also, it when you toss this overboard this is thick it's not plastic so it becomes it pulls onto the um the mainland whatever the island and it becomes a uh, new chance to watch mangroves again. Right. What you call dust. Yeah. I hope this is good luck. I'm gonna like show this. Should we put it in a message for it first? It's biodegradable. No, it's okay. Go ahead, just suck it. No, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Love you all. My phone. <laughs> Something, yeah. Can't <laughs> <laughs> show this over. And I don't see my phone right Bye bye, there. coconut. That was completely empty. It came from China. This is how you know it's a real pirate ship is that the very back there's a stockade right there. So don't, so joke, that, so don't ocean, joke around, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't go dash no plastic in the ocean or you'll be rocking, yeah, okay, rocking the stockade. Rock, right. I'm gonna take you out. <laughs> Cruising in through a beautiful sunset sail. Look at how gorgeous the sky looks all around us. And just glowing the back out over the reef, all those clouds glowing because of the orange of the sunset. That's just beautiful. Dylan's gonna throw up the jib just to give us a little bit more oomph as we uh as we drive home. The sailboat, we've been motoring around today because the winds actually have really not been that strong. Um, and we just kind of wanted to do a fun little loop. Lines are still out. Hopefully we can catch a sundown butter be buzzer beater fish. We got the jib sail up. Kick it out, beautiful. You know, real pirates use sail, so now we're actually out here sailing. I need jib right now, car. I need the jib right now. Cause that wind could really come in in a minute, huh? Look at out there, you guys. Even though it's beautiful right now, you can see underneath all those orange glowing beautiful clouds is the next, the next gust of cold, windy, wet weather. 
So when I looked at the weather report today, it said beautiful blue skies, 15 mile an hour winds, 10 to 15 from about 3 p.m. to about 9 p.m. So at about 9 p.m. tonight, which makes sense, it's probably in about three hours from now, the island's gonna get hit with another nice heavy dumping of rain, clean everything out, clean the streets, clean the boats. We uh, definitely got some fish on the top of this boat today as we were chopping up baits and stuff, but it's gonna rain real hard tonight, so wash the boat off clean for us. And uh, for now, we're just cruising and enjoying this beautiful sunset. Make sure you subscribe to the bite. Subscribe, the bell button, and the like, the thumbs up, right? Yeah. Good for the bite. Definitely. Yeah, do it, do it. Welcome to Belize. <laughs> is up here man in the rods and I could tell by his demeanor that he's thinking about one thing and one thing only fish he's yes. like man I want a big fish I want a big fish both because I know he's a junkie like the rest of us and he just wants to catch a nice big fish but also because Brandon's got a big family out here like Brandon's got his mom his sisters his sisters kids his brothers like all of that we're, we're basically all family <laughs> you know Look at how beautiful the sunset's coming in. Whatever big I pour out with the gero, well, I'm good. All we need is a little bit of real screaming. Little, little one-time real screamer for the end of the day would be real nice. And uh, we'll see what happens. If we can't get that, we'll pick up a few more snappers somewhere, park off and enjoy the sunset, and uh, at least have some fish to fry up. It's been a beautiful, fun day rolling on the boat. And uh, I think it's gonna be a beautiful sunset too. So um, if you're getting bored and over it because you haven't seen any fish yet, don't go nowhere. Maybe some fish are still coming. <laughs> but there's gonna be a beautiful sunset if nothing else. So, yee! Keycocker Island, the north side right here, coming off of the point, slowly cruising back in. And I like the layer of orange and turquoise that these clouds are making. It's cool to see layered clouds and sunsets like that. The sun is already tucked all the way back behind the horizon line there, but it's leaving this beautiful orange glow on all these other clouds. <laughs> Brandon's on a nice fish right there. Yeah, bud. Yeah, work him, work him. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Here, here. We'll just tighten that up a little bit. No, no, you're fine. Just keep on working it. Yeah, see him pumping, see him pumping. Good fish. Woo! I was just talking about what kind of fish would bite at this time. You're like, I wonder what's going to be out there. Yep, yep. Hey, brother, somebody to be no chip. The chips? Oh, nice fish. Ooh, that oh. is. This is yep, yep. This is not a barrel. This is not a barrel. He brings salt, no cutting around. What yep, is that? keep on working him, keep on working him. Pump action, bring it in, bring it in. Let's, let's, let's tighten this drag up just a tiny bit now that we got yeah. him there. All right, yeah, now just keep on pumping it. Keep on working. He's got a decent bit of line out. Keep on working. Keep on working. You're about to get into the into the mono. So, yep, get it into the mono there. Ooh. Yep. No, keep on working it. There you go. Dinner. All right. Sarah. Yeah, don't shut off the engine when they come close. Tight the rate yeah. Ooh, heavy. Yeah, yeah. Keep on working him. Grab that. Yep. He's got a hook stick back there, and I got a hook stick right here. I had no way. I'm fight when I get close to the boat right now. Yeah, they're right there. They're shut off. Shut off engine. Shut off engine, the land. They're shut off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
kind of it's not a good part so they, they, they get close to the boat there like Make sure to keep it on this side though. There we go. <laughs> yeah, look at that fish right there, guys. <laughs> like we said, as moments ticked and we was like, what's about to bite at this time? It was a nice grouper. We brought him out. <laughs> look at that fish. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I don't know if you guys caught any of that, but right as the sun was going down, Brandon looked over at Dylan and goes, what do you think would bite right now? And Dylan goes, a grouper, man. And right then, wham, Brandon hooked up. Nice fish. And look at that grouper right there. We That's a nice fish. The other episodes that we wanted something different and we got something different. Yeah, yeah, we've been catching a lot of barracuda and little snappers and it was time for a nice good fish like that, so. Well, you guys, we're gonna put that fish down. Go ahead and set that fish right there. Hey, hey, hey put that fish in, the, in there. We're gonna go ahead and set the fish down real quick. Uh, while we are drifting to catch that fish, we got up on the shallow water right here. See, this is reef right here that we're on all of a sudden. So we gotta get pushed off of this. This is kind of a, a real, real big deal and bad, so. up that big grouper um, we almost beached the boat up on some rocks there was like some rocks and some coral in front of the boat and we had to real quick reverse out so that we didn't get stuck all up on that coral and um, luckily enough we didn't we managed to just kind of juke around it and get the boat moving again so but while it was happening it got dark on us and uh, sun is down we're cruising back in towards the island going to pull this thing over, going to get that grouper out, clean it up, and uh, we'll show that off to you a little bit. What a badass way to just end the day. Buzzer beater, nice big fish. All we caught before that was some little fish, and I've been saying for the last couple days, I want to catch something big and different, not just another uh, barracuda or, you know, a bunch of other little snappers. I wanted to catch a big snapper, a grouper, something like that. Real badass, real fun to put Brandon onto a big fish. We've been saying the next real big fish is his, so I feel real good about that. It's always a group effort. I don't need to reel anything in to feel good about catching a fish that day. And uh, I feel like that was a successful crush. We didn't uh, didn't beach the boat. Caught a big fish. Beautiful sunset. Caught ceviche. What a blast, right? So we're going to go in, clean up that fish, and probably turn it into some kind of delicious foods. So. Yeah, and show, we want to show off this side so we can get it so we can go like this. Mm. This is so disgusting, but it's cool. This rock fish took us in the f rock, but he thought he was going to catch us, but we caught it. <laughs> Got ourselves up into a nice big grouper right here. Yes, yeah, a lot of fun. Me and Brandon are going to go cut this thing up. We'll show it off to you guys a little bit more in some way. <laughs> you think about to grab this rod right now and it's crazy because Asher had it attached to the top of the uh the sailboat where we had like the little I had it in like, like a little, a little like, it's like a little canopy out made out of uh coconut limbs something told me I, I was looking at the rod and Asher even said it. he's like look at Brandon getting ready for a fish to bite and right. I, I, later as he said that Dylan with me and made me think it was a fish so Dylan Dylan came over and uh Brandon's sitting there holding the rod really want one the rods have been sitting in the rod holders for a while and Brandon's sitting there holding the rod in line and Dylan comes over and does the little tuck because he's in the back of the boat and Brandon's like, oh, oh fish a fish and even right down I said 
Said, bring it up and make sure that your bait's still good, man. Let's make sure that yeah, you still got Yeah, I actually tried to call there. it off. I was like, no, bro. I'm going to just leave it in. And he just went ahead with it. And look at that. Look at these gnarly. Right after that. Back. Bang. This bad boy. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Asher for hooking up them bomb baits and getting us yeah. a bomb catch. And look at that monster right there. Boom. So... Big shout out to my boy Brandon for actually landing this fish and catching it. But one more, mark it down for the bite right there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We're going to definitely chop this thing up and we're going to cook it up. So maybe here's a couple of cool shots of us doing some fillets. Show off some of the big badass slabs and the cheek that come off of this thing. And then... Booyah! fillet right there. Super stoked on today's catch. If you guys want to see us catch more big badass fish like this, more big barracudas, more wahoo, lots more snappers, all that kind of stuff, check out the Asher's Belize and Adventure playlist on the bite. Make sure to hit thumbs up and turn on your notifications and that'll make sure that when videos do come out they jump into your feed as long as you're subscribed. So you got to make sure to subscribe so that when we put out a cool video, if you have liked previous videos, the YouTube algorithm will be like, maybe you like this one too. Thank you guys. I hope you guys had a good day.